Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, on this one, I'm going to show you my brand new camera. I'm one of the fortunate ones, I guess, or early purchasers of it. The new Sony ZV-E1. This is the box it came in. A little surprising because I have the box from when I bought the ZV-E10. And it's got a nice coloring and advertisements to it. And the same thing was with the ZV-1, which I had bought prior to this. I have now three of these ZV line cameras. Anyway, nice plain box. I hope, it's, hope it means that it is new. I hope I'm not dealing with something that was meant just for evaluation, because I paid for this one. I'm going to open it up, and we'll see what's in it. Okay? I didn't mean to do a box opening of it, but it was one of those things that... Uh, once I realized all the stuff that I got and what I plan on doing in terms of videos related to this going forward, it would make sense to actually cover everything that I have. So here it is. It's got some instruction manuals and stuff. I pretty much read most of this online already, I think. So I'll just put it aside for now. Warranty cards, etc. The camera, sh is it in here? Yes, it is. So the camera, oh. It's like inside of a tissue bag. Like a tissue made of uh, very tissue. It's plastic lined on the inside. So let's see what we got here. There we go. There's the Sony ZV-E1. Now I bought it with the kit lens, which I'll open up next. But it's got the fully articulating frame, just like the other models in the ZV line. It's supposed to have a better microphone that we can have more control over. But let me go ahead and open up, now put this aside, let me go ahead and open up the, the lens and see what I got here. Take the lens. I bought the kit lens with it. I know a lot of people have complained about it online, but give me something to start with. I didn't have any other Sony lenses that would fit on this camera. So I'm starting fresh, really. That's the lens. It's a... Some people have had, had good luck with it, so... Let me see what uh, what we got. We got a uh, a 20, 28 to 60 zoom lens. Whoops. I'll have to take it off anyway in a moment. So it's a zoom type lens that the camera should be able to support, obviously, 100%. But I'll do some testing with this and we'll see. Okay. This is the first of numerous videos that I will do on this camera because I want to show how I plan on using it and why and hopefully I'm correct why I think it's the best camera for me in terms of my go-to camera for making YouTube videos. What else do we have in here? Well, it looks like we have a shoulder strap. Don't know if I'll use that. Well, it feels like the battery. I don't know if there's a charger on it or not, but I'll put it in and we'll try it. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Sony model NP-FZ100. I'm going to have to buy extras of these. It's a larger battery than the other previous uh, ZV cameras. What is this? Oh, that's the, uh, the wind cushion, or the, uh, some people like to use a name that I can't use in front of my wife, called a dead cat. Yeah, that's a dead cat that goes on the, on the adapter at the top of the camera. Okay, so let me push this aside. And I will go ahead and put this together. Take off this cap here. I'm not going to touch anything. <laughs> it's freshly brand new. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the bottom of this. And I should be able to work just like any other camera. I line up the white dots, push it together, and then twist it in place. And there we go. Let me put uh, let me put this down here so you can see it a little bit better. Get some contrast. I'm going to uh, put the battery in. I don't again. I don't know if there's any charge to it or not, but we'll find out. I'll put this in here, just like the other Sony cameras that I own. Yeah. You see, it does have an on switch over here. You have to. It's on off position now. If you look over here on, on this end here, it's currently in off and that's on. Let me take off the lens cap and I'll turn it on. Now, it looks like the battery needs full charge. 
So what I'll have to do is I'll have to charge it up, and then we'll try again to get it started. But I really just wanted to open this up now and get it basically together. So I'll put this back on. I'm going to have to buy a, a filter, the UV filter, to protect the lens, obviously. And then we'll take it from there. So I believe it has the ports over here. That's the uh, SD card port. People complain because there's only one. Then we have the USB-C port for charging and potential remote control. And we have the microphone port, pretty standard. But this one also has something, the first one that I've seen in the ZV line for me anyway. It has a micro HDMI, which a lot of people complain about. But for the first time, I have now a camera that has a headphone connector so I can listen to what the camera is recording. And that'll come in handy for some of my use cases anyway. So those are the, the ports that it has. To close that with a latch, and this one just snaps. And I think that's about it. I gotta put an SD card in here too. I didn't do that, did I? Oh, it doesn't go here like the other ones. It has to go over here. So let me put it down. I did buy, just to show you what I also bought here, I did purchase the highest end SD card that was available and approved for this. This is a 128 gig. 300 megabytes per second SD card. So let me open that guy up. The very expensive card. This one cost me a lot more than I've ever paid for an SD card before. I'll put the links down below to where I bought all this stuff. 128 gigs. It's a nice one. Let me go into the side port here. Open this up again. There we go, goes in one way. Push it all the way down, of course, until it locks in place. So there we go. I'll try turning it on again. I don't think it'll come on, but it did come on. I guess it had to have the SD card in it. Okay, this one's supposed to be touch screen. I can use this if I want, or I think I can just touch it. There we go. It's coming up with it. Do I understand everything about it? Yes. That's one of the big pluses, the touch screen. I do not want to connect right now. Oh, battery exhausted. So it only came on for a few seconds. I'll close it out, I'll charge the battery, and I'll try again. Yeah. So that confirms it. Battery was not charged. It's got the three switches here, one for pictures, one for videos, and one for S and Q, slow and quick. But doing slow motion and f other special features. Okay, let me um, show you what else I got. I also bought the power adapter for it from a company called Kimaru. And this will allow me to replace the battery when I'm running it in my studio here, continuously. Let me double check to make sure this fits. There we go, locks in place. Does it, does it have the little port here that I can, that I can push aside? I think I do. Yeah, there it is. There's the little port there, right there. So I can close it with that on there. Okay, that way you don't have to leave the door open. That's good. Put the battery back in, I'll have to charge it in the camera. I didn't get a battery charger yet, which I will do when I buy additional batteries. Okay. Feels nice, I actually like the feel of this camera. Not bad at all. So the next video I'll actually show how I'm using it from my use cases for the various things that I do when creating YouTube videos. Okay. One more thing that I bought. I decided why not go full whole hog as they say and I got myself the Rode wireless microphones set up caught it on sale we'll see if that pays off I got to break the box there's no easy way to open this one there we go sorry about that there was no other way what do we got in this thing and this in this road got a nice carry bag for it looks like black carry bag sort of a foamy material it's not really canvas or anything yeah. we have various cables cables that came with it I won't open it up for now I'm going to read the instructions that's to set it up connected to the camera connected to different things the charger is in there and so forth and then the actual microphones should be three of them oh three windscreens so what we have here is this looks like the receiver, the one that goes on the camera. And then these are two transmitters.
for up to two people with their own microphones. And each one comes with its own dead cat. <laughs> so I'll set that up later and we'll be able to see what it sounds like. That's all that's in the box. Okay, the battery is all charged and I'll go ahead and try to set it up, initial setup. There we go. As I was about to say in the previous frame, this thing is actually adjustable. Whoop, I don't want that. Go back. I want English. Do I understand the privacy notice? I understand. There we go. It's touchscreen, which is great. And I do not want to connect yet. I'll do that later in terms of connecting to my smartphone. Smartphone can be connected later. Okay, I understand. There we go. Set area, date, and time. Let me do that. The area is actually right. It found New York, which is where I'm at. So I'm good to go with that. So I'll say, okay, it's daylight savings right now because it's summertime. I'll leave it at uh, month, day, year. That sounds good. Today, however, is May 9th. It already has 2023 in there. My time, according to my digital clock, is coming up on 8.46 so p.m. So I'll do 8.46. Click on that. There we go. Coming up on the time right now, p.m. I'll say OK. When shooting from a tripod, instead of shooting while holding a device, put the auto temp to high to extend the life. I want that, so I'm going to set, leave it at set now. The temperature of the device may rise to pr prioritize recording time. I'd like to change the setting. Swiping the left side of the touch screen icon from function menu. That's OK. OK, perform the pixel mapping to optimize the image sensor. Do that. Attach the lens cap for light shielding before running the pixel test. So I'll put the lens cap back on. OK, it's on. Processing. It looks like it's done. Take the lens cap off. Complete it. Please extend the lens. OK, I think we're good to get a picture on this now. OK, now it says please extend the lens by rotating the zoom ring to take photos or video. Let me zoom, let me extend this. There we go. So now I have a picture. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to close out this video. Okay, well here's the new camera, the new ZV-E1. Pretty much out of the box. I didn't play with the settings much on this at all. I wanted to see what it looked like. All I changed was to 4K 30 rather than the original HD version of it that it had at 120. So I think this looks okay. We'll see when I put it on the screen. Anyway, that's my new camera. And this is what it looks like basically out of the box. I do like a lot of the features of it. And in the next video, I will go over some of those features to show you what I'm talking about. I do have a lot more playing around to do with different options that this thing has, including the AI functions, which particularly interested me. So until the next time, take care. And if you're interested, this is what it looks like.